Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. As you reflect and think about what's been happening in the cities across America over the last few months, the rioting, the shootings, the fires, CHOP in Seattle, there's only one common denominator that stands out to me. What began as a protest quickly morphed into riots in most of those cities. What began as freedom of speech quickly developed into destruction of property, rebellion, theft, and loss of life in many of these cities. So what happened? Why did things escalate so quickly? Well, once again, Proverbs can point us in the right direction to understanding the world around us. Proverbs 29, 8 says this, mockers can get a whole town agitated, but the wise will calm anger. In every group of protesters, there was also some who seemed to be mockers, people that just wanted to cause trouble. I was grateful that the protest held here in Havasu was peaceful, but in many of the cities across the country, what began peaceful quickly descended into chaos. Why? because mockers can get a whole town agitated. Mockers can use their words. They were able to turn the city of Jerusalem against Jesus to yell, crucify him. Mockers were able to turn the city of Ephesus upside down against the apostle Paul, and mockers can get cities to turn on one another. But that is not your calling. You are a wise person. And Solomon teaches us that the wise will calm anger. I loved watching the video of the police chief of a city in Georgia confronting a tension-filled crowd of protesters. He told them in wisdom he understood why they are upset. He told them that he was with them and then he marched with them. In his wisdom, he was able to see their point of view, agree with them, and stand with them against injustice. And as he did that, it brought a calming presence to their anger. Wise people have a way of listening, understanding, and calming the anger of others. Now, I don't know if you agree with me, but wouldn't you say that the world has had enough of temper tantrums anger and hostility. So you today choose to be a peacemaker. Listen to other people. Do not mock them. Work to understand others, not to shame them. You can begin doing that today and you can change the world. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless.